In this video, I'm going to go ahead and continue my series on the exact value for trig functions. And it looks like we have the sine of 87 degrees that we're going to take a look at in this video. And we're going to go ahead and find this exact value for the sine of 87 degrees by using the sum angle identity here for sine. And it has this expansion that goes along with it. So the sine of, and we have two angles in here, A and B, we're going to add them together, and we have this expansion, the sine of A, which is that first angle, times the cosine of B, which is that second angle, and we're going to add to that the sine of B times the cosine of A. All right, so we need two values here for A and B that add up uh, to 87 degrees, and they're also nice angles, you know, to work with. So let's go ahead and use... For 87, let's go ahead and use uh, 15 and 72. So we have 15 degrees plus 72 degrees, and that will make 87 degrees. And so let's go ahead and do this expansion, and then I'll chat a moment about these values up here. So we have the sine of 15 degrees uh, times the cosine of 72 degrees plus the sine of 72 degrees times the cosine of that 15 degrees right there. Okay, so we ha have four values that we need, and you'll actually see all four of them are up here. And so these four values, the sine of 15 and 75 and the sine of 18 and 72, we have previously done these values in uh, various videos. In fact, four different videos, one video for each of these. We found these four values of sine from scratch, and you can find links to these videos down below in the description for this video. So instead of reworking all four of these to find the sine of 87 degrees, we're just going to go ahead and employ them. I'll write them down and use them and show you where you can find these exact values and where they came from. Okay, so first of all, the sine of 15 degrees, that's going to be this first one. So the square root of 6 minus the square root of 2 all over 4. And we're going to multiply that by the cosine of 72 degrees. Well, sine and cosine have a nice relationship where the cosine of one angle, in this case 72 degrees, will be the same value as the sine of the complement of this angle. So remember, complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. So we're saying the sine of 18 is the same as the cosine of 72, since 18 plus 72 uh, does indeed add up to 90 degrees. So we can go ahead and use this exact value for the sine of 18 to plug in for the cosine of 72. So we have 1 fourth times, and we have that square root of 5 minus 1. Okay, and then here the sine of 72 will be this guy, so the square root of 2 over 4 and then times this uh, radical expression here, and then times the cosine of 15. You'll see is the same relationship or the same type of relationship. So we'll use the sine of the complement. So the complement of 15 degrees is 75 degrees. So we'll go ahead and substitute in here the square root of 6 plus the square root of 2 all over 4. Okay, so here we go. We have this huge expression. And it's going to be the exact value for the sine of 87 degrees. But let's go ahead and kind of clean this up a little bit and see how, what we can do with it here. So it looks like I have this uh, radical 6 minus radical 2. Let's go ahead and factor out a square root of 2. And I'll tell you why here at the end, why we, why we would go ahead and do that. So we'll have the square root of 2 over, and then 4 times 4 is 16. These leftovers will be the square root of 3 minus 1, and then multiplied by that square root of 5 minus 1. And to that we'll add. And again, let's go ahead and factor out a square root of 2, and it'll actually multiply with the radical 2 that's already out here to make a real 2, which then can be you know canceled with one of these 2's below here. So we'll end up with a 1 8th right here, multiplied by this radical 3 plus 1, and then multiplied by this radical expression. Okay, so here we have this expression. It's going to be the sum of well, a couple of irrational numbers here, it looks like. And so the exact value for the sine of 87 degrees is this guy. And the reason I did that whole thing with factoring out a square root of 2 is because I like to keep this fraction out front. So we had the square root of 2 over 16 and then 1 8th. 
Also, you see we have the square root of 3 minus 1, square root of 3 plus 1, that nice pattern there. And then we have this other trailing value here, the square root of 5 minus 1, and then the, this radical expression. You'll see a lot of these patterns as you go through these videos to find the exact values uh, for sine. Lots of patterns. So let's go ahead and grab a calculator. We'll slide this up, and let's just make sure that uh, what we've done here uh, actually works. Okay, so here's our calculator. And we're going to go ahead and do the inverse uh, of sine, and we'll put this entire expression in, and we'll make sure that it gives us our 87 degrees. So we'll start with the square root of 2 divided by 16, and we'll multiply that by the square root of 3 minus 1 times the square root of 5 minus 1. And to that we will add 1 eighth times the square root of 3 plus 1, and then times this radical expression, closing out all of those parentheses, and we get, yeah, 87 degrees we see here. So that's really nice. So what we're saying here is the expression you see here at the bottom is indeed the exact value for the sine of 87 degrees. And we went ahead and got this value by using the sum identity here for sine, and going ahead and employing these four values of sine that were found previously. And once again, these were found from scratch, and you can find links to these four videos down below in the description for this video.